What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another action figure review from Diamond Select Toys on the Marvel Select Doctor Strange. If you're trying to pick one of these, you can pre-order one now at Biggity Big 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 Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. I'm really looking forward to this figure, I'm very excited about it. It looks like we get some really cool accessories in there. On the side of the packaging you can see Doctor Strange, very nice artwork. Then on the back you can see the figure over there and then there's a variant head. I guess it's an astral form Doctor Strange head right over there. There, then you can see Daredevil and Ultron. Then there's a read up if you want to go ahead and read it, pause it now. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Doctor Strange out of the packaging. I really like this figure. I'm actually quite impressed with this one. I did not expect the base to look so cool. I really like the Sanctum Centaurum. This looks really nice over here with the transparent plastic. The figure itself has all kinds of sculpted details in it. I love the paint apps. This orb effect right over here, this is really, really cool. I did not expect that. So I'm really digging this a lot. So let's take a closer look at the accessories and then we'll take a closer look at the Sorcerer Supreme! So an additional accessory that you didn't see earlier was that we get the Eye of Agamotto over here which looks really nice except for one little detail. The eye is not sculpted in there and I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that. We do get this real metal gold chain which I do like but I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Is this supposed to be a closed eye if he's not wearing it or something? Because I feel like the eye is always supposed to be there so I don't know you'll let me know in the comments then we have this transparent orb which looks fantastic I really like this a lot very nice transparent yellow the design of it just really cool and you can see it has this little peg right over here which I don't know exactly what that's supposed to peg into I do know that this little piece right over here you can see there's this little slot right there and it plugs into his wrist very well and I tried doing it on this side it doesn't work so well but you can plug it into the right side very nicely which you know is just way more appropriate especially because he has the correct gesture to go with it and you just snug it right into there on the under part of his wrist and wah, 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 there you go and then we have the Sanctum Centaurum piece which I think looks great. I love this smoky effect over here. That is just too cool. I like that we get this yellow and blue right in that transparent plastic. That looks really really nice. I'm really digging that. Even this concrete section looks really good with some black mixed into the paint. You get one peg sticking out right over there. I think that's really nice. Again I really like this transparent plastic. You know reminds me of church. I don't know. I grew up Catholic so yeah. Now the head sculpt looks really good on this figure. I really like how the paint apps came out too. It kind of looks like he's looking off to the right just a little bit. I dig that. Unfortunately there's a little bit of a black smudge right there. It looks like he has a shiner. And I do think Gene was just a little heavy handed with these wrinkles over here. I just feel like he has a little bit too many wrinkles in his face. Especially like on the side right there. That almost looks like a scar. You know so. But other than that I think it looks really good. I think the paint apps came out pretty clean for the most part. The facial hair looks really nice. The color of the mouth and everything. The hair looks really good. Like we have the details right there with the gray parts of the hair right there. He has a little curly Q from Superman. <laughs> Did see that Dawn of Justice trailer yesterday. We Anyway, looking on the back of the cape, we get some nice details sculpted right in there. Nice gold paint. I really like that we have this black fading effect in parts of the cape too. So that looks really nice. I'm really liking this a lot. Then coming back to the front of the figure over here, you can see the eye of Agamotto with the eye sculpted in it. So that's how I feel like it's supposed to look all the time. Again, correct me if I'm wrong about that. I think the gold came out pretty good on the front part of the cape too, going around the edge right there. And then the shirt and everything looks really nice too. We get some variations of blue, very nice sculpted. These little dots are all sculpted in there, which I really like a lot. Hand looks good. Then you have his nice belt and everything, some color variations in the yellow. So really nice paint on this figure. And I really like the legs on this one because it's not just a flat black color. They used like a midnight blue. It's, it's really tricky to see, but I love details like that. Yeah, you can see the dark blue mixed in with black, and I just think that's really cool. I like that a lot. I don't know, I just love that stuff. Then nice wrinkles right there on the feet, and he does have peg holes. Now, the articulation on this figure isn't too shabby, but there are some things that bother me about it. Uh, for instance, you can move the head up, but it will not stay up. And look, you can see the cape is just hindering it. Oh no, now that I'm shooting it, it will stay up. 
Dang it. So you just have to finagle the cape in a way where it'll help support the head looking up. So you do get that looking up action. Totally wrong about that. Okay, you can move the head downward. You get side to side movement in here and you do get head pivot. And then you can move the cape around. I haven't tried removing the head on this. You might be able to. I'm pretty sure you can, but I haven't tried it. I don't really want to. But you can move the cape around to adjust so that, you know, if you have him looking off to the side, he's not going to be looking into the collar, you know, so you could turn it like that if you want to. Anyway, you can move the shoulders outward that much. You can move them forward. He has a bicep swivel. He has a jointed elbow that bends at 90 degrees. Also rotates at the elbow. He has a forearm rotation over here along with wrist rotation and he does hinge up and down. What I really like about this is that you can get all kinds of wrist articulation. So sometimes we see on figures that they either have the up or down motion or the side to side motion like that. You know, and this one you can get both, which I really like. You like my wrist demonstration, by the way. Anyway, you get side to side movement right over here with the waist. It cannot really crunch forward and back so much over here. I keep trying to, but I feel like it's just me kind of pulling the figure apart. And then you can move the legs outward that much. You can move them forward only about that much, so not a whole lot of leg movement with this figure. And he has no upper thigh cut over here, which I wish the figure did have. He does have double jointed knees that bend in that far. Then the ankles move up and down and up, and you do have ankle pivot. Now this being a Marvel Select figure, you can see that Doctor Strange is standing just a little under seven and a half inches tall. Then here's Doctor Strange compared to a couple other Marvel Select figures. We have the classic Captain America and Cyclops. Then here's Doctor Strange next to both Marvel Legends Doctor Strange figures. You have the Toy Biz version, we have the Hasbro one right there. One thing I really like about this Select one though is that the cape is much smaller compared to the Legends version. This is just way too much. This is just the right amount of cape. And then here's Doctor Strange next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Oof, getting a little hungry. Hey, you got a spell for making us some pizza, huh? Whoa! What's going on? Ah! <laughs> then here's Doctor Strange up on a Mafex stand, which I think looks good. I like having this figure floating around. It's not a bad figure. I do wish it came with interchangeable hands. That's one thing I thought of. Is like it'd be cool to have him doing the magic wielding hands with this side over here too. But regardless, it's not a bad piece. I really like the sculpt. Paint apps came out really good, and he has some decent articulation. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes right over here if you want more shart in your face. If you're of the age of 18 or older, please check out the Patreon account. Your help is much appreciated. If you're any age, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to MarvelousNews.com for the latest in Marvel-related news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy. There you go. You can see, see,